folks, it doesn't get any better. It doesn't get any better. That sound, hold on, just this, wait for it. You're here, and you're like, oh, okay, so it's just kind of a uh, soundless start screen, and then, oh, that's nasty! I love that so much, because then you come to this simple screen, simple but very attractive looking screen. Do I want to do Spec Ops? Maybe. Do I want to do the campaign? Maybe. Or multiplayer? They're all right here. They have these tiles like they kind of do now, but they don't have 60 of them going down and around and with four different games, you know? Oh, let's go! Now this, I have to be honest straight away, this is my favorite Call of Duty in the history of forever. And I don't think that's ever going to change. It's the one I started off with. It was, it sort of, it got me back into playing any kind of video game after like Battlefront 2 on the PS2. I played it at a friend's house and I, it, it blew me away. And then I went out and I bought an Xbox. I love this campaign. No Russian, obviously a classic. Didn't really care for anything in the favela because I remember on Veteran just being stuck there for a long time. And all you hear is that when you're like dying and then you get like a quote from Teddy Roosevelt. I love the snow stealth that we had going on. This was interesting. This was also super interesting. Then you go to a state, you go here, you do all these crazy things, and the end game, man, the end game. Everyone who knows knows, and if you haven't played the Modern Warfare 2 campaign, go and play it. You even have it remastered so you can do whatever you want, but this game ends fantastically. And then you have the museum. Guys, let's just go into the museum, huh? Let's go into the museum. This is something that should have come back. An evening with Infinity Ward. This, honestly, seeing an evening with Infinity Ward is one of the things that made me really like Infinity Ward. Just because I was like, oh, this is so cool. Whatever, you know, you get... It's a, a live museum, but like, oh, there are bad guys. Get out of here, guys! And you can't shoot your own guys unless you take a step back. Sorry, so... Spoiler alerts. <laughs> you got Makarov in here. And one thing that I actually really enjoyed doing... Is that? That's what you get, my guy! You have these vehicles. But where's the fun in this? These don't actually move. If you could actually get in here and drive the tank or something, that would actually be... That would be awesome. I love this one. It's Britney, bitch. Just because I want to say this, I'm going to kill the jug with my pee-pee. Pink. -pee. This is something... Do not press X. Folks, folks, X. No! Oh! The first time I did, man, the first time you do something like that. It'll change your life. Oh! Ghost, don't do it. Ghost, stop. Stop it, ghost! Got a sniper back here. Beep! Oh, did you get that sound in here, man? Multiplayer. The create a class system was solid. Also, guns. M4 was, it was okay. You know, it wasn't the best, but it was usable and good. FAMAS was great. SCAR, great. TAR, great. FAL was, if you wanted to use it, you could. Like, it's usable. It's not like you're going to be at a disadvantage if you're using the FAL. The M16 was great. ACR, great. F2000 was not very good. And the AK was solid. I think I've slowly eased up on the AK. I used to love it, and now I don't like it so much. Um, MP5K, not my favorite. UMP, great. Vector, also not my favorite. P90, love it. Mini Uzi, also eh. So the SMG category isn't super strong. Um, but LMGs, you got the RPD and the AUG. It just in my opinion, this RPD and this AUG are two of the top LMGs in Call of Duty. Sniper rifles. Intervention Barrett, then you always have your not great uh, semi-auto ones. Well, I guess the Barrett semi-auto, but the fact that you could have shotguns as a secondary in this game was a little bit crazy, especially when you had the Spaz, the AA-12, the Striker, those Rangers, I hate them, the M1014, and the models. Those as secondaries 
were almost too good. But you had the machine pistol. The PP. The Rafika. The TMP. The, you had so many great options here. Uh, the launchers were there. Then the perks. The fact that you had the pro perks. This can go. All these pro perks were great. I think it's a wonderful thing to work for. Death streaks don't have to be there, but yeah. So let's hop into just one quick game here. It's probably going to be hacked. Unless you play Domination, these games 80 at least percent of the time are hacked. Sometimes you can get good hackers in this game. A lot of times what they'll do is they'll just increase the capacity of the game. So like if you were in a free-for-all game, there'll just be like 20 people in it. Or if you're in a team deathmatch, it'll be like ground war size team deathmatches. So it's pretty cool sometimes. Sometimes they'll even uh, make a gun game, which is fun. There was a time where there were a bunch of trick shotters, and they would all be hacking. I haven't seen them in a long time, but uh, they were always free for all. And uh, sometimes they would spawn bots in, and they would just crowd them around one area, and then you'd see them all jumping off of a building and spinning and attempting to hit these. But then they also could turn on an unfair aimbot, which just meant they would shoot and something would die. So there were plenty of kill cams that you would see where we guys would jump off of buildings, like on high rise, they would go out of the map on top of a building, jump off of it, start spinning, shoot in the opposite direction, away from the map, and they would get a kill, and that was the final kill cam. Um, it was interesting. There was also one time that they gave me the menu for some reason. <laughs> um, and so I had the hack menu and I went up onto the place and I was just trying to ruin their day. And I turned on invisibility god mode. <laughs> won the game. Spawned right there. Wait, is this an enemy? Yeah. Oh, look at that. What? Someone's hacked this game. Yeah, there are too many people in here. Yeah, you could shoot down Harriers super easily. No! These shots were off. Nope! Ah, I, 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 uh, 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 mm. <laughs> Words were just too hard right there. So I decided to give up on them. That was a guy! We are going to get pushed in a less than favorable way UAV online Up oh, nope 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 That is what happens when you do too well in a game with hackers. They will do that to you. There's a video of it happening to me a lot. It's actually the last Modern Warfare 2 video. I kept going on these great streaks. The hackers can, um, they can do that where they kind of like freeze your game and then you can't do anything. Or they will literally, the game will just reload. Like it'll back you out of the lobby and then it'll reload. They'll end your streak one way or another because for some reason they can't stand it when someone drops a nuke in their lobby. I don't know why. Like, I, the chances that I dropped the nuke that game I think were pretty low because I wasn't doing well in the chopper gunner. But they don't even care. If you call on a chopper gunner, they're going to find who it was and they're going to do that to you.
which sucks. I have to say again, domination in this game still works, and I do think that if we were to repopulate the game, hopefully when it comes on the Game Pass, I think uh, that you will at least have a better chance of not getting into a hacked lobby like that. I just love this game so much that when, that, when stuff like that happens, it just makes it even worse, because all I want to do is find the people who did it and uh, get them out of the game. I understand the whole thing of wanting to break the game just because you can, you know, that's why it, when you have these under the map things and out of the map things and these crazy things that are broken in game, to just kind of do that for a little while and have fun with it, but to go out and just ruin other people's games, especially if you like this game and you want other people to play it, you hacking just pushes them out of the game. So, I mean, I don't know, I think it's stupid. That's it. Modern Warfare 2, greatest Call of Duty ever, that if you play Domination, at least every time I've played in the last year or so, you're 100% good, you'll find the game faster than you will in Modern Warfare number 3, and you are set. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like the video. If you hate the game, dislike it. And if you hate the video, dislike it. If you had a positive experience, hit the subscribe button because that little button down there is free and, um, and fun. Or, I don't even know, I'm just in like this, oh. The, he threw off my groove, man. I'm gonna go subscribe, like, all of it, appreciate you. We'll talk to you later.